Hey guys, since it's rainy outside, this week's vlog is going to be about uh, a unsuspecting case for my Canon G7X Mark II camera. Stay tuned. So if any of you guys know me, you know that I am very, very particular about cases for all my gadgets. I found an awesome case that works beautifully for me, for my camera. And the Canon G7X Mark II is the camera that, that I'm videoing on right now. I'll show it to you uh, in a little while. Anyway, back as I was saying, I, I'm very, very particular with my cases. For example, here's my DSLR bag. It's big, but it carries a lot of things. It uh, not only carries my DSLR, this guy. You see that on the uh, camera above. But it also carries a laptop, it carries all my different accessories, lenses, Ugh, pull out some of these. Case for my large lens, this guy here, which believe it or not this is the actual Canon case that came with this. It's, uh, you know from small little cameras like uh, this little Canon power shot. I found a lot of big cases but nothing small and slim to keep in a, in, in a backpack. So here's what I use. This was actually a mouse, a mouse case. Now this case, this is my, one of my newer cases. Um, this is for, flip this around here. For my drone. So for my Phantom 4, I shopped a long time until I found this case and it works really well plenty of room I can put uh, at the very top here let me show you right here I there's a space for other cameras I can put a lunch in there I put water bottles and whatnot and it also has a laptop case I can Speaking of drones, here is here's the very first drone I, I learned on. <laughs> this little nano drone, if you can see that. And we would fly these at work and I would need to bring them back and forth to work and you can't just stick this in your backpack, or at least I didn't want to. to I don't want to bend or break anything. So I have this little box that I came with. I have some of the bubble wrap in there. At the very bottom is the controller, the USB cable, and some uh, spare batteries. So what I did, I just took this little cheapo cardboard box with the bubble wrap, close it up in here, fancy latching mechanism, a rubber band, and that's it. It's durable. I can just throw it in my car and have it whenever a a drone derby breaks out at work. Went to a camera store and saw a ton of cases. Cases for these cameras tend to be bulky, 
A lot of them are rigid and many of them are not easy to get to when you need to do your camera quickly. Some have Velcro openings that are very loud. Some have a zipper that requires two hands to unzip. Some even have both. Some had you had to unzip and then you had to Velcro, uh, you know, pull the Velcro out. So the, the case I finally found for the Canon G7X Mark II is not really a camera case at all. It's basically a lens pouch. So the Goblin lens pouches are cylindrical in shape with a round bottom. And then I saw the Tamarack Goblin 0.4 pouch. It was small, would fit my camera perfectly, and it had a rectangular bottom. And here it is, the Goblin 0.4. So here's the, my new case. It's padded. This one has neither a zipper nor Velcro. It has a drawstring bag and it stays closed. Again, it's, uh, it's lightweight, it's padded, it's a rectangular bottom, as you can see that. And it fits the camera perfectly. Let me show you. One quick note is I apologize for the audio on this particular segment because I normally record audio through this lavalier microphone into my iPhone, but I have to use my iPhone. It's an iPhone 7 Plus. I'm using that at the moment to video because this is what I was videoing with. This is the camera. This is the bag. The camera slips into said bag. I pull the drawstrings. And there's the bag. It's it's got some moderate padding on there. You know, I can toss it into my backpack, into the car, uh, just about anywhere. Uh, I usually leave the wrist strap sticking out so I can just hook it on my wrist if I need to carry it around like that. I can also hook a carabiner on here and clamp it to a backpack or whatever. So. Plenty of room in here. In fact, there's, there's much more room that not only do I put the camera in there, but I take my spare battery, put it down at the bottom, lays flat on the rectangular bottom, and then uh, this microphone and the, and the cable and my adapter for the, for the iPhone fits nicely in this little tiny pouch. This is the pouch that came with, with the microphone. So I put the bag the microphone bag and the camera bag. Take my camera, put it into the bag, pull the drawstrings, I'm good to go. So anyway, I'm very happy with it. Uh, it's, it's, again, it's not a bulky bag. I don't have to unzip anything. Uh, there's no Velcro to make noise if I'm in a quiet environment. And I can easily access the camera. So when I found this pouch at the store, it came in a lot of crazy colors except for black. And the store didn't even know Tamarack made it in black. I saw on Amazon that it was, there was a black one. And the same guy was selling the other colors as well. So I, I sent him a message and he said, yeah, Tamarack just came out with it. And in fact, Tamarack's site doesn't even show it in black, which was kind of odd. The seller, uh, ensured me that this was authentic Tamarack and they're an authorized dealer and all that good stuff. So I ordered it. Forgot the gentleman's name, but he was very helpful. He answered like three or four of my questions and made me feel at ease. And I'm glad I did that. And it's, this is in fact a genuine Tamarack uh, goblin pouch. And, and down below in the video, there's a link to the product from this particular company, Event, what is it? Event Cameras. I highly recommend them. So there you have it, the unlikely case for the Canon G7X Mark II camera. So tell me what you think about this case in the comments below. Until next time, see ya.